Here's how to change the color of any clothing or objects in Photoshop. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to select and go down to subject. We just want to isolate the dress from everything else in the background. And we can also use the fourth tool, which is the quick selection tool. And we just want to hold Alt or Option key and subtract the hands and everything else that we don't want it to include. You want to also get rid of the face and the hair. You just want to focus purely on this dress right here. Now, the longer you spend on this and the more accurate you are, the better the results will be. And it will save you time from having to do all the other corrections. And then once you're happy with your selection, we can now go ahead and go to the adjustments. And you want to get yourself the hue and saturation. Now in here, we can select this button right here. And this will allow us to target this purple color right here. And you want to sample yourself the color that you want to change. As you can see, it now brings this option at the bottom. And this is the range that is focusing on. If you want to expand this range, it will reach a wider range of these colors right here. You can also use this eyedropper and apply all the different types of shades of purple the dark purples, the light purples. And as you can see, the more you modify this, the more it expands to focus on this range right here. From here, you can change the hue at the top to any color that you want. And if you wanted to, let's say, have this nice reddish color, you can also apply saturation or you can desaturate this and this will make it darker. It'll make it black and white. You can apply some lightness as well, whether it's dark or light. And you can also subtract any unwanted colors. For example, if you have something in the background. Now, as you can see at the moment, we have this problem right here where you can still see the purple. And to fix this, we're going to refine this mask right here. We can do this by pressing B on our keyboard to get ourselves the brush tool. You want to make sure you are selecting a white color and we're going to set the brush to 100, 0% for the hardness and we can set the opacity to around, let's say 50%. If you're selecting a white color, it will apply it onto here and what it will do is it will reveal and apply the red color and you just want to lightly apply this to soften this up and apply it onto this area. You can preview this by itself. If you hold Alt or Option key and left click on the mask, you can see what you've applied onto here. This is also great for any other areas. For example, this area that you cannot see or is harder to see. And you can fix it up in here as well. And you just want to apply it onto the rest of your project or areas that are purple. Now, as you can see, we also have some other problems such as the hair. We have the color cast onto here where it has a little bit of a purple slash blue tint on the hair. And we can fix this by once again, getting ourselves a new layer above this one. You can hold Alt or Option key, left click on the color to sample this color. And we're just going to increase the brush and apply it onto here. You also want to make sure that you set this one to color for the effect. And as you can see, this will now remove the color cast onto the hair. Same goes for this side as well. And there we go. That is looking a lot better. We can definitely see the natural hair color rather than what it was before. And there you have it. There is the color change in Photoshop. You can see the before and after. You may also like this next video up on the screen, but until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.